Hi guys, um, I just wanted to make a quick little video expressing something that's been on my heart and on my mind for a long time and something that I've struggled with and I know people around me have struggled with. So, um, we live in a world where we can just push a button and talk into a camera and share it with hundreds of people if we wanted to. That It's a crazy concept, but that's the kind of society that we live in and we have that ability so I figured why not express it um so what I want to talk about is just what I've observed for a while is there is a sadness in our generation that is unlike what I see in other generations um I mean depression the rates of depression are increasing the rates of suicide are increasing this isn't a secret and this sadness, I see it in the people that I am surrounded with on a day-to-day -day basis, but I also, I just notice it through social media. Um, we almost romanticize sorrow and depression and mournfulness in a way that it used to be treated more like a disease. Um, now it's treated more like part of what everyone has and what, how everyone's thinking. Like, sadness isn't seen as an anomaly, it's seen as part of life. And I don't think that it should be that way, so I wanted to talk about um, just what I've observed as might potentially be the root of that, and I'm not saying that, I mean, I'm sure other people have had these ideas, I'm sure other people have thought of this, I'm not saying that my ideas are like brilliant or anything, I just want to express what I've been thinking about because I think it's a problem. I, I'm not going to say I think it's a problem, it is a problem. And I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but um, the sadness in our society derives from selfishness and self-centeredness. And this is something that I have had to learn um, the hard way, the very hard way. Um, by experiencing the sadness to which I have described, I had to learn to look past my own problems and my own life and open my eyes to the beauty around me. And I think that people in our generation are neglecting to do that because they're focused on them. And I'll explain what I mean. Um, one of my favorite quotes, you probably know this if you know me, but I think it's absolutely brilliant, is, I think it's Mason Cooley. I should really know. Um, who said my favorite quote? I think it's Mason Cooley, but it's self-love and self-hatred are equally self-centered. And I believe that's true. Um, that's harsh. That's a harsh reality. And I'm not saying that you are completely selfish if you have, like, insecurity, because everyone struggles with things. Like, everyone struggles with insecurity. But there is an explosion of self-loathing that exists in our generation because we are focused on us. And the, the news is that life is not about us. It never has been. Whether you, whether you are religious or not, whether you worship the Lord of Abraham or you do not, I'm not saying this in a religious manner only. I'm saying as human beings with hearts and souls on this planet Earth, no matter what you believe, no matter who you worship, Life is not about pleasing ourselves, bettering ourselves, and if you believe that it is, you worship yourself. If you believe that the number one reason that you are alive is to make yourself better solely, then you worship yourself. And I think that's the problem in this generation, in this culture, is that people worship their own self more than anything else. We only desire the betterment of our own beings. And it's seen in small ways all the time, like just through comments people make or through things that people put on social media, blah, blah, blah. Like someone will post a video of someone singing that's not them and say like, I hate myself. I wish I could be like this. And that's seen as normal. And I wish so badly that that wasn't. And I do it too. Like, of course I do, but we can't even look at a photo of another person or, or see another person achieving something without feeling like it should be us. And that's so twisted. And appreciating other people 
and their gifts and their looks and their intelligence and their existence, appreciating them deeply and truly and not putting yourself, how dare you look at someone's beauty and ability and bring it back to you. That's a gross quality to think that you you being that way is more important than the beauty that they have created or what they're able to achieve. I, it, It's a disgusting quality in a human being, but we all do it. it. It's because we want to be the best and the winner, but life is not about us. It, it never has been. There's another quote, I don't remember who it is, but there's another quote um, that I love. Gosh, I need to remember these people, but um, it's maturity is when you look, oh shoot, God, I don't remember what it is. Okay, I'll put it in the description of this because I want to get the exact wording. If I don't get the exact wording, it won't be as good. So I want to get the exact wording. But basically the gist of it is that maturity is when you look at the entire world and don't see yourself at the center of it. I think it's worded a little more eloquently than that. But that's brilliant. Life is not about you. And that's just what I wanted to express is that I think that the reason that people are so sad is they're just waiting to be completely secure in themselves. And they think... Once I am completely happy with every single thing that I am and every single thing that I've achieved in the way that I look and the way that I sound and the way that I think and the way that I exist, when I'm completely happy with everything that has to do with me, then life will be good. But I'm here to tell you that life being good is not dependent on your own fulfillment. Life being good is dependent on opening your eyes, looking at the people around you, looking at the beauty around you. And also, not just the good things around you, not just opening your eyes and looking at the blessings around you and the beauty of life around you, but opening your eyes and looking at the disgustingness in the world too. Life is not about you when we are called to look at people that are less fortunate, but how can you focus on making yourself the best when there are people that don't have anything near what you have? I think... Media and technology, while it be great for communication, and it is a beautiful source of spreading um, like beautiful photos and joy in general, it has a negative effect on our mentality. Because we spend hours looking at what we think other people's lives are and hating ourselves when we could be looking past all of that at the world around us and taking in the deeper things of life. The deepness, the deepness of life is, does not exist in your single backyard. It exists all around you. We are called, like I said, whether you're rel religious or not, we are called to look past us. And I beg you, if you feel like the scum of the earth, you have to look past you. Because when you realize that you being your definition of incredible is not the most important thing, you will see joy in everything around you. And you will see sorrow in everything around you. And you will feel the extremes of life. You will see the horrors of life and you will see the beauties of life and maybe you'll start feeling impassioned to learn how to bridge them. I think our purpose on earth is to learn how to serve what is not us. And so if you're feeling sad and lonely and depressed and like nothing, look around you. That's all I wanted to say. Um, I'm just kind of been rambling for 10 minutes, so if you watch this whole thing, like, you're super stellar. Because I didn't, I just kind of turned the camera on. So I hope that maybe um, this makes you think a little bit. Have a good day.